Hey guys, how you doing? Um, I'm gonna go over a couple things with the uh, hog trough here um, for some of you new guys, and you know maybe a little refresher for some of you uh, more veteran guys in here. Um, the the first thing um, that I'll recommend for anyone who's new to the kayak angler or the uh, catch photo release tournament, or if you're deciding to do KBF this year along with kayak anglers, uh, whatever whatever trail you're doing. Um, Definitely, definitely, definitely take the time, read the rules, read them thoroughly, read them a few times, any questions, reach out to your tournament directors, um, but know the rules, know what's a deduction, you know, what does the mouth have to be closed, uh, does the tail have to be in a natural position, you know, know, know all those specific rules to, to the trail that you're fishing. Um, you don't want to get to tournament day and, you know, put all your pre-fishing time in and all your mental preparation in but not read the rules and show up tournament day and you know just make a bonehead rule infraction and you know lose a quarter of an inch or possibly your entire fish and you know lose money or lose a podium spot or you know lose a prize it's just not it's not what we want and it's not what i know you all want uh for your fish so rule number one read the rules uh number two when you get a fish in the boat, especially if it's a, a big fish, um, your adrenaline is going to be going at about, it's going to be going at 100%. Um, so it's going to be a blur. You're going to throw the fish on the board, take a photo, take a couple photos, the fish is going to be going. You're probably not even going to remember what happened. So put the fish on here, take a deep breath, get it all situated, get it facing the right way, make sure the tail's good, make sure the fish is good, make sure it's touching the, the end of the board, take a couple photos. Take a look at them on your phone, your camera. Make sure that your identifier is in there. Make sure the fish is in a legal position. Make sure that the length that you think the fish is is the length that's showing up on your board. Then release the fish. Um, you know we don't want anybody catching a you know 20 inch fish and or 22 inch fish this year and you know not having their identifier be in the picture um, or not having the fish be touching the end of the board. You know, if anything is, is you know, uh, close to being a rule infraction, nine times out of ten, it's going to be ruled a rule infraction because uh, that's just how it is. If you're going to make the tournament director make that decision, he's probably not going to go your way. Uh, so make it easy on him. Uh, make sure your picture is not blurry. I, we had a couple photos last year. I've seen it in tons of tournaments where, you know, you get a little bit of water on your camera. You get some condensation in your phone and you take a photo and the photo is so blurry that even when you zoom in on it on a computer, you really can't tell which one of the lines it's touching. So if that happens, you're gonna get deducted. They're gonna only score it to the closest line that they can tell it's touching. And in some of these tournaments, a quarter inch is gonna be the difference between winning money and not winning money. So make sure you got a good photo, make it easy on the judges. Uh, we all wanna get out of there tournament day. You know, we don't wanna be sitting there. We don't want the judge having to look at a photo for a half hour to try to figure out, you know, what he's going to score it. And to be honest with you, he's probably not going to, because if it's, it comes into question, he's going to rule it against you. So let's get some good photos so we can look at it. Yep. That's good. And we're going to the next one. Um, so one thing that you can definitely do and you definitely should do, and I'd like to see everybody this year do that, do this is line these, uh, raised lines here on the board. Uh, makes it really easy in the photo to be able to see where the fish is touching. If you don't line the lines, it makes it really difficult in a lot of photos to tell which of these lines um, the fish's tail is touching. These lines are raised, but in some photos with sunlight shadows, you can't tell where the line is on the board. You can only really see the numbers. And again, if you can't tell if it's touching or not, you're not going to get the full score for your fish. So make sure you line these. The best thing you can do Get a brand new marker, brand new Sharpie, lay it parallel to the board and just use the edge of the marker and just run it along the raised lines. You don't want to make thick lines. If you make thick lines, then it's going to call into question on certain fish whether the fish is actually touching the raised part of the board. Um, thick lines, they just it's impossible to tell where, where it's actually raised up on the board and, and where it's just marker on the flat part of the board so make sure that you you know don't make those thick lines because again i don't want to see you lose a quarter of an inch this year uh, because you drew some thick lines on there so 
Line those lines, line them good. If you screw it up, which the first time you do it, you are going to. I don't think there's a, a fisherman who walks this earth who's lined one of these the first time and, you know, not at least said one four letter word while they were doing it. Um, so if you do that, no big deal. Get some alcohol, get a napkin, Q tip, cotton swab, cowboy's jersey, whatever you want. Um, wipe the whole thing down, clean it completely up, and you can start over. Um, you know, as you measure fish, your lines are going to start to fade. Um, you know, they're going to kind of get dirty a little bit. So at some point during the year, if you see that, again, take some alcohol, wipe down that section of the board, wipe down the whole board, reline it. Uh, if you want to reline it before every tournament, great. Um, you, you probably don't have to, but, you know, if you see your lines kind of getting a little uh, a little messed up there, um, make sure you reline them. So, again, nothing comes into question. Another big thing you can do is, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but right here at the zero line, um, I have a line drawn there where the butt end here touches the zero line. Uh, what that does is that helps the tournament director tell that the fish's mouth is touching the board. If the director can't tell that the uh, mouth is touching the board, you're probably not going to get that fish and it's going to be DQ'd. And again, none of us want to see that happen. Uh, something I do is I throw a decal on the end here. I know some guys draw lines on it and whatnot. Um, I put a decal on the end, it kind of throws a little contrast in there with the board. It helps even more to tell that the, uh, um, the fish's uh, mouth is touching the end of the board. Um, something else you can do, uh, which was brought up by one of our uh, KA leaders, was you can throw your name on the back of it in case you drop it, uh, in case it falls out of your kayak or something so we know, um, you know whose it is. Throw your phone number on there or something. Um, Another thing you can do, and I recommend this to everybody, get a second one, get a third one, have multiple hull troughs in there. Um, you know, I had a, a fish snap one of mine last year, and luckily I had a, a spare um, in there. So um, this one here is uh, it's a fresh board, uh, hasn't measured a fish yet. Uh, you can actually find a, a fresh board in uh, Andy's boat as well. I'm pretty sure his has never measured a fish either. Um, so. Andy, I got a fresh one now too, just like you. Uh, two other things that you can do, I haven't done this yet, but you can uh, put some spray foam in here. Um, that'll uh, that'll help it float. Um, it, you know, um, I'm gonna keep on the uh, on the trail of uh, poking fun at some of my favorite guys in the group. Um, you don't want your hog trough um, like a certain guy's kayak was in our group last year. Um, don't worry, Lou. I'm not gonna mention any names. But you don't want to have your haul trough sinking to the bottom um, like his kayak was for a couple of tournaments last year. Especially if it falls out, these do sink. So you can throw some spray foam in there, put some you know foam on the back, whatever you want. Anything that floats, stick it on the back of this and it'll help it float. Uh, something you can do for strength, like I said, these are pretty easy to snap. Is You can throw a wooden dowel in the grooves back here. That'll really help out with, uh, with some strength of the board. Um, I've seen some guys glue some on the back here as well. Uh, this is pretty flimsy on the back here. Uh, my other board broke here, so I'll be picking up another one. Um, so you know that, that those are the the, the, the big things that uh, you yeah, know that we really look forward to. You know, um, know the rules. Make sure your fish is going the right direction. Make sure identifiers in there. Read the rules. Uh, have fun, as always. Um, you know, one of the, one of the products for some of you guys, I know you fish, uh, other tournaments, uh, besides KA. So if you haven't seen the 20 tag yet, um, if you fish any of the tournaments that have an identifier, um, like some of our online, online tournaments for KA, uh, this thing is awesome. It is an awesome, 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 um, piece of equipment to have with your hog trough. You basically stick your identifier in there, slides over the top of your hog trough, just like this. You can tighten it down very easily. It slides up and down. You throw your fish on, it's already on your hog trough. You get your picture, you can hold the fish down, it frees up your hand, get the picture, make sure it's good. You don't have to worry about your identifier sliding around the boat or dropping it in the water and having it sink, uh, which happens a lot. Uh, if you don't have one of these, uh, shame on you, but if you don't print out multiple identifiers, uh, or put them on something that's going to make them float because again, you don't want to be out there in the middle of the lake in the middle of the day um, unless unless uh, you're a weirdo and you got a printer on your kayak. 
but you don't want to be stuck out there and not have your identifier. Um, and that, that feeling is the absolute worst. Uh, I've been there. So those are a couple things that you can do uh, with these hog troughs to uh, make it easier in the tournament director. Um, that is uh, the number one thing that uh, I'd like to see this year. I'd like to see nobody get any kind of a disqualified fish, uh, lose inches on their fish. And I want to see everybody, you know, getting full credit for the fish that they catch this year. Um, so again, if you're new, read the rules. Any questions, reach out to me, Dustin, Andy, Master, uh, who's Bob, uh, Matt, uh, anybody else in the group, reach out to us, ask a question, you know, any question on the rules, we can help you out with it. We can help with a uh, determination of what uh, that rule means if you need it. Um, but, you know, do, do your uh, due diligence, uh, read those rules, and uh, good luck out there this year.